so I finally got my new kayak. Got the Slayer Propel 13. I wanted to kind of take a minute since I haven't put a video up in a while and just show how I set it up. Um, so I'm just going to start in the back and move to the front. First I got a just a normal standard milk crater by no Z's. This one's a little bit longer than most. It's rectangular, not square. I think I'm going to have to move these two pole holders and put them on the back so I can actually slide it back a little bit more because when I get the landing gear uh, it's going to have to go here so I'm going to need to be able to push the crate back a few inches so I'm going to have to fix that but uh, other than that I put six pole holders on it. Uh, so another thing about my crate uh, when I bought these rod holders the holes didn't actually match up to like the solid parts of the crate so you know at first it was kind of a headache but what I ended up doing was I went to the just a normal hardware store and I got uh, some channel piping for like wires and stuff. Uh, so it's a harder thick plastic. I was able to bolt uh, directly to that, which was really nice. And I think what I end up loving more than anything is I can keep the cover and put the cover right back on. And it covers up those bolts nicely. And it kind of gives like a little bumper rail on the inside of my crate uh, so that's it's really good uh, hopefully it won't block anything if it does I think I could probably just cut little channels out of it and use it as like a guide to, to establish some things but uh, should work out really well I'm excited to get on the water I got my two jigging rods my two spinning rods my net and then uh, I'll actually show you this last one it's a sabiki stick for anybody that doesn't know it from the other one I had that in in Whole kit. So this sabiki stick, uh, the line actually goes to the inside, so there's no eyelets on it. And I have just used that as a hasty flagpole. So if I need to, I can still fish with it. And I'll be as practical as it should be, but it'll still work. I use it very little. And then in the meantime, if I'm not using it, dual dual purpose for my flag. So that works well. Uh, moving on to the front, so it has the standard two pole holders in the rear. I actually don't like these as much as my other one because they angle backward, so it hits everything. So I really can't use them too much. But what I did get on the other one is a uh, gimbaled Scotty mount, and I put that onto the panfish boom pole for my GoPro. So it's going to be able to kind of stick out here and catch me from an angle. I just got to play with the angle on it. But this is from Yak Attack, which is made, they sponsor with, with Ram, as you can see. And Ram does not necessarily go with Scotty very well, so that pops right out. So I need to try to find the Ram edition of that gimbaled mount. But we'll make do in the meantime. Uh, it's got the waterproof storage, which is just a, like a seal tight fit cap on there. I keep, actually the only thing I have in there is my first aid kit, so I got a little waterproof first aid kit in there and that's about it. Uh, I kept my behind the seat organizer because this one does really good. It doesn't get wet so it keeps all my stuff in there. Some sunscreen, my two lure boxes, everything there is good. Uh, it has the straps in the back if I wanted to put a uh, plano box back there but I probably will try to keep everything off the ground if I can. Learning from my, my last one, stuff gets wet on the bottom. However, this one does sit uh, a lot higher, so hopefully I won't get a wet butt this time. Rudder control is the same, nothing changes there. Uh, it's obviously back to my stock rudder. I thought about going ahead and throwing my boondock on, but I don't want to upgrade too much too fast. That rudder's fine, we'll play with it. Um, I used uh, just some Scotty track head mounts and I put the rocket launchers on them. So I got one on each side of me, right next to where I sit, which is actually what I prefer to use for trolling. So this will allow me to have that pole right off to my side while I'm trolling it around. Uh, obviously I'll put some leashes and stuff on just so I don't lose anything. But I use those. Uh, it actually came with this little side organizer, probably. Uh, it's just a little three pouch, so maybe some tools or stuff. And then I also bought uh, go around the other side here. I bought another one, which is a little bit bigger. So I can probably put like a Plano box in there, some more tools and stuff. So that's good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Velcro and just do a little Velcro square to the kayak. 
because when I load it, you know, it flaps around a lot. So just to kind of keep it stable. Uh, still got the propel drive, no change there. Hanging out below the kayak. Uh, I found these on, well, I found them on Amazon, but they're just kind of a track mounted extended pole holder or uh, paddle holder. So my paddle can just clip right there onto the side, which is really nice. Kind of keep it out of the way because with a pedal kayak, I only use my paddle for about 10 minutes out of the day. So just kind of lock it up on the side. So just a real cheap paddle, nothing fancy. Uh, obviously already rocking Okie Jewels. Now I'm moving to the front. So there's a lot of track adapters up here. I'm actually getting ready. That's what all this is for. I'm getting ready to drill a Hobie through hole wiring kit into the lid. So I'm not actually going to drill the kayak, but I'll drill the lid for the battery power to come out. And I'll probably just run it into the gear track uh, very loosely because I'm going to have to take that in and out because I don't keep this one on, on my kayak. These other gear track adapters, I just keep those on. They're out of the way. But, so I did get a over the side transducer kit so i still got my garmin 5c still this thing's still kicking doing great um, i just kind of i know it's not pointing in the right direction don't don't yell at me for that but i don't think it really would cause too much of an issue because i really just use it for bottom picture and depth i'm not trolling and and uh, stuff like that too often so it should be fine if i if it starts causing a lot of problems i'll figure out a way to change it but that's on there. Uh, I said this for the transducer wire, which I just kind of bound up and zip tied and left me plenty of slack. So it takes care of that. And then the power will actually be inside here. And then I'll pipe that right out the center up front, up to the back. And I'll probably use some kind of loop and a zip tie. Uh, I've got some Velcro strapping, which I like to zip tie. So I'll make like a loop. And then I can put both wires through it, Velcro them down so they don't move. And I can just unvelcro it when I pack up. It's a lot easier. Uh, this is the newer model, the, the Slayer, so it comes with the hood uh, inside. I'll keep the old fish bag. So this is going to go up front. Uh, I got away from using a cooler because last time on well, my last kayak, uh, if the wind was blowing real hard, I would take a lot of, it would spin me because the cooler acted like a sail. So I'm going to get away from that, use the crate. I'm actually going to go to a fish bag and just mount this up here. So I got these little uh, track mounted cleat adapters on there, there's two on each side. And I'm gonna get, I just kind of had some leftover paracord, get some sort of clip or a D-ring and I'll just actually clip it to these. Uh, could probably, I don't like these metal clips. So I'm not gonna trust them. They pop off real easy. So I'm actually gonna try to clip to the actual plastic uh, if I can. I thought it was going to work great because it had these big D-rings on this side. And I was like, oh, perfect. But it's only on that one side. It's for the shoulder strap. So i got to kind of play with a little bit. But it shouldn't be too hard to mount. It'll be easy. And I like the, the blue that, that stands off the great kayak. Uh, this was, again, off Amazon. No secret there. Uh, I want to say it wasn't too. It was less than $100. I can't give you the exact amount. But we'll see how it works. But uh, other than that pretty much just getting everything figured out where I want it and get ready to take it out on its maiden voyage. So get some new videos up and if you got any tips or suggestions, please just leave them in the comments below and hopefully see you on the water soon.